Hello. It's Friday and I'm about to go to Starbucks. <laughs> and I was feeling very folly today, even though it's 77 degrees outside. I, I I put some dark nail polish on. I'm wearing a long sleeves like sweater. I remember why I never drive to Starbucks anymore because the one that's closest to us, like to drive here is just such a pain in the ass. Cause like the street that you take is like a hill and it's so narrow. Like there's cars parked on both sides. So it looks like it's just like a one way, but it's a two way. So if there happens to be another car coming, you literally have to like pull off into a space, basically parallel park to let the person through. And it's like whining so you can't like see people come. It's very, I don't know. Not gonna lie, as I was walking out, I had like an urge to lick the whipped cream off, um, but I still had my mask on. I almost just like shoved it into my mask. That's great. It's pretty good. It doesn't taste very pumpkin-y to me, but. Now what I always do. Mm. It's been a while since I've had some good whipped cream. I don't really like the pumpkin seasoning or whatever the seasoning <laughs> got extra whip <sighs> i also got a piece of pumpkin bread because when i was leaving jack was like if you want to get me a treat you can but i don't want any coffee i was like okay but he likes pumpkin bread and so do i so he got me hooked on the pumpkin bread there actually i got him hooked on starbucks well coffee in general when i met jack he did not drink coffee i'm very skilled at eating the whipped cream and not spilling it anywhere we're zooming my family tonight. Jack and I just zoomed my parents a couple weeks ago. My mom showed us like piece of artwork that she found at Kirkland's. And it's like this big like cow painting. I mean, this is not like a painting, it's like, you know, a print, but I don't know. She showed me and Jack this and she was like, I love it, don't you guys like it? And like my dad was kinda like, oh, like no. And she said that my sister didn't like it either. And I was like, oh my God, no, I actually really do like that. And Jack liked it too, so I ordered it and then went to Wayne, Pennsylvania to the Kirklands to pick it up <laughs> and we put it above our couch because we had been wanting a piece of like something to put up there because it was just like a big blank wall. I'll show you when I get home. And there was actually like a Andy Warhol cow print like set that they had when Jack and I went to the art museum in Montreal and I remember seeing it and being like, oh my God, that's so cute. And so yeah, I love cows and this is really cute. And it's very colorful so it kind of like ties in some of the other like colored items we have in our apartment so my mom was like oh we should do like a zoom um because she got it too right she had just like showed me like the photo she'd taken but she ended up buying it also <laughs> like do like a zoom and like with my sister and like just like have the cows in the background and see if she like says anything <laughs> so we're doing that tonight all right guys this is the cow picture <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Double cow. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's too hot. Okay, so Saturday. And now I'm making cookies. So I'm making like hazelnut chocolate cookies. Um, the recipe's from Bon Appetit. Seems pretty simple. I mean, I have hazelnuts and I, I pretty much had everything for the recipe. I wanted to bake something and. <laughs> I found this recipe the other day. So, I mean, it's kind of similar to chocolate chip cookies, except um, there's a little bit of ground ginger in it. And that's just, these are just all my dry ingredients. Some flaky sea salt at the top. And it tells you to use granulated sugar, raw sugar, and brown sugar. I used mostly just like white sugar. I used some raw sugar because I had some, and then I also used some coconut sugar instead of brown sugar. And then I have some toasted hazelnuts. It says use blanched ones, but I don't have any and I didn't want to blanch these so I figured it's be fine. Um, and then like chopped chocolate instead of chocolate chips and egg butter. It's honey and vanilla in there. I'm not sure really what the honey's for. I'm doing half the recipe because obviously you don't need like a whole batch of cookies for me and Jack but then I can do half because there's two eggs in the whole recipe so we stick like half. Sorry my dishwasher's on if that's what you're hearing in the background. Um, so you beat the butter and the sugars for a while. I'm gonna add the egg. And then it says to add the honey and the vanilla. Be just to combine. Now the dry ingredients. That's what it looks like. It tells you to like roll it into like balls and then 
chill it for two hours. My least favorite part of making cookies is doing this. <laughs> it's not that sticky. I, I never know. It says one and a half ounce and it says three tablespoons. This looks small, but I kind of like small cookies, so I'm gonna do that. The full recipe said it makes one and a half, no, two and a half dozen, which is three cookies, so this should make 15, but the first one was small and they're getting bigger. I'm gonna do a little Abercrombie haul because I got some stuff from Abercrombie in the mail, including this um, like pullover really cozy and it was like 60 degrees this morning when we went out for a walk so I was like perfect I can wear a sweater the like tan sweater I was wearing yesterday this one I also got from Abercrombie yesterday I just wanted to get a couple fall things and they were having like some sales so I got just another pullover it's like tan cream and white and then oh this skirt super cute I feel like plaid skirts are like cute right now and it's just like black with some tan so that would look nice with that other sweater and then I got a black bodysuit from them I've been wanting to try their bodysuits like those seamless ones um not necessarily to wear like it's like nice clothes but to like wear like for yoga so just like a bodysuit with leggings I think would be nice for yoga or for like working out it's not gonna like move around on you so that's what I got a little miniature haul not gonna lie I ordered some more stuff though <laughs> oops got my move goal the four or seven.